good evening guys my name is Ben part of the Chemical Apes team and this is another guide for Subnautica and welcome now for this particular one it's a real good end, lava zone not only are we going to get the entrance to the lava zone but we're going to look at the best one for the Cyclops which is pretty much what you want so in terms of direction we're going to be sort of going northeast east and we're going to do this for this particular one in the seam off uh, purely for speed purely for so we can have a look around it, sometimes it is recommended to go in the seam off put a down a beaker and then you know we go with the cyclops obviously with the cyclops it can get a little bit tricky in terms of vi visibility you yeah, have got the cameras yes but uh, it can get still get a little bit tricky so the the location is very close to lipod 12 so if you do have that then i suggest you go there carry on watching this video of course um but go there and then we'll go from there if you haven't like i said we want to go northeast east and that is exactly where we're going to find it we're going to be coming across a lot of uh, a lot of nasties you want to sort of avoid you're going sort of on the almost on the edge of reaper zone but the, you can avoid it you, you know you the we go into what's called the bulb biome so the bull biome is pretty much on the edge of the mountain biome mountain biome is where you're going to find all the reapers but if you uh, keep to this path you should be fine so we're around about 400 meters from the lipo 12 entering the bulb zone now which is all good 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 like I said, this is a great location, well, entrance for the Cyclops. It's a, it's a big old cave, and it's really easy to get to the lava lakes. There's, I think there's four in total entrances to the Lost River, which leads to the lava lake, uh, and this one is by far the best. Okay, so once you get to Lipo 12, you want to sort of keep on this side of the rock, now, if you have sonar, it really does make a big difference. And you can literally get a topology of the the, uh, the, the landscape. And then we we'll sort of want to head down. Now, what you'll see, you see it the, this void here. And this is the entrance to the Lost River best one you can sort of see the cyclops there ready and waiting and it's ample ample size for it and it pretty much is all the way there so like i said be careful there are river prowlers if you're going to sort of do this initially in the seam off get the bearings do be careful no i don't need it yet now once you hit this this point you want to sort of keep to this left side as close to this left side as possible and just plow on through. We're a prowler there. Another one. As long as you don't go too close, they are okay. And a nice little, uh, I believe that's um, a Reaper, Reaper skeleton, which is interesting. So keep close to this left side. Now, you're going to come across a ghost leviathan. Very close to this entrance. Do try to avoid it. It, it will, won't do as much damage as a reaper, but it's still going to do a little bit of damage. In terms of when you get down to the lava lakes, you want to make sure that you've got a depth module mark 2 on the cyclops, otherwise you're going to find that it's, it's simply going to perish. I am actually doing this in depth module mark 3 for the CMOF which is purely for demonstration in terms of getting the I've lost my bearings now. Oh. And there we go guys. That is the start. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. That is the start of the lava zone. 
or inactive lava zone. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, why not subscribe? We have a, a variety of videos around Subnautica and other various games. Well that's it now. Any comments, likes, more than welcome. Ciao for now. Bye bye.